this is the last example. It's similar to the one we just did, but what I notice is this is a, a polynomial that can't be factored, but this one can be factored. So I want to go ahead and factor it before I find my common denominator. This factors to x plus 2 and x plus 4. So that'll help me when I find my common denominator to make sure I'm using the least common multiple if I factor this first. So here, the factor x plus 4 needs to be represented. So now this fits into here. And then I need to find out if this fits into here. Well, I already have the x plus 4, but I don't have the x plus 2 yet, so I have to add that in. Now I'm ready to fix the numerators. What do I multiply times x plus 4 to get this? I would have to multiply that times an x plus 2. So that means I have to multiply the numerator times x plus 2. Here, I have x plus 2 times x plus 4. It's the same. So I don't have to multiply that times anything. That's good. That means this is just going to be plus 3x there. But here I need to go ahead and double distribute. So I would get 5x squared plus 10x plus x plus 2. So the answer is 5x squared plus 14x plus 2 over x plus 4 times x plus 2.